Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a seat, please. I know you have been standing a lot and clapping, and I know people get tired. It's a human feelings. I'm really honored that I'm here today with so energetic, passionate, and peace-loving people. I'm really happy that the reason for which I'm here is going to be heard. That is, And that is education. This word seems a bit complex, but it simply means the right to learning. And when I come to these stages, speak at the UN, or give a Nobel Peace Prize speech, I simply ask that the right to learning should be given to every child. I ask for nothing else. But unfortunately, there are 57 million children who are out of school. For some of us, this would be a really sad news a really shocking news, maybe. And it might be happening like somewhere far away from this world. But it is happening in this world where we are living. It's not on any other planet. The children we are speaking for are living on this earth. They are our children. And they have the right to learn. But unfortunately, there are many people who do not give this opportunity to children, either because they think that children are supposed to work for them, or that children don't deserve it. Either that it is against or social taboos, or it is just a waste of money. And we have to fight against these mindsets. So this is a collective campaign. And if we want to see that change, and if we want to see every child getting quality education, then we have to work together. Then we have to go on this journey, but together. So I request all of you to think today that how can you help? How can you help these children to go to school? And today, I'm really happy that at least this award is given to the children, to people who campaign for children's rights. So this is a big opportunity for us to speak to the world. The children are facing many problems and many issues. And now it is time to think about the future generation. It is our duty. And I'm hopeful that change will come. One day, we will see every child getting quality education. But for that, we need to work together. We need to make it our target. We need to make it our objective of life. And that's what I have done. Though I'm 17, not very tall, <laughs> and very small. I have promised myself that I will fight for the rights of children, because I cannot forget the days when every morning I would see poor girls going to other people's houses and suffer from child labor. And I considered it my duty to fight for their rights. I wanted to see them 
in school uniforms, holding books and pens in their hands. I wanted to see their future bright. If you don't educate children, it means it becomes a generation lost. So if you want to protect the next generation, we have to think about their education. Thank you so much to all of you once again. I'm really happy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.